Hey, go sneeze. Tell me, why are you getting so fat? Mm. What are you talking about? Hey, Lawrence, everybody wants to know why you're getting so fat. Fat? My girlfriend said I'm slim. That's not fat, man. That's not fat. That's like fat. <laughs> so, everyone on Instagram wanted to know, what's up, man? Why are you getting fat? Because I like that. <laughs> and it's better than being skinny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yulia. Hey. Dude, why are you getting so fat? What? Why are you getting so fat? You're kidding me, right? I'm losing weight. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> that was fat again. <laughs> hey, Alex, dude. Yeah. Why are you so fat? I think I'm gonna disappoint you. <laughs> Killing us. I'm ruining the video. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So the Instagram question, why are we getting so fat? I, I think after asking everybody, I realized that you're probably just talking to me when you're talking about getting fat. Uh, Costis is, is definitely not fat. Costis is, is really, really in shape. Uh, Lawrence is getting more jacked by the day. I don't know if you've seen his traps and chest. Uh, we've got him in a bench press shirt, middle of the week. You never see him train during the week. You've only seen him squat once, and that was like a huge, huge reaction on the video because he basically uh, did the free full squats and just demolished me. Um, that guy, uh, but we've got him benching in a shirt and he's getting more jacked by the week, uh, working on his diet and exercise. Um, uh, Andre, I mean, he's, he's losing weight purposely, working on his diet so that he can get the calories in uh, around the days that he's here, around the weekend on the Sunday that he's here, uh, so he can get his calories in, but he's actually down a lot of fat, uh, getting lean and trim. Elia, man, you can't say he's getting fat. Uh, that guy, when he began training with me, he was 120 kilograms, 265 rough freedom units, uh, and then a year ago-ish, he was 201 kilograms, so 443 pounds uh, and then right now he's sitting somewhere around uh, 165 170 so he's looking at like 360 375 somewhere around there depending on what he eats on the day and he's getting leaner by the week and then of course Alex was here visiting geez Alex I mean he really does have abs like that uh, so that only leaves me I'm the only one that can barely see over his eyelids so here, here's the thing um, I need to gain weight. I need to gain weight any way possible. A little bit of fat is perfectly fine. Um, actually, a lot of fat is perfectly fine as long as it's not in the total unhealthy pattern. So if, if you go back to where I was last year at this time, uh, competing at Masters World Strongest Man, I was pretty run down, weighing in the low 250s, uh, and that was every bit of food, sodium, everything I could possibly do, everything I could do uh, to gain a hold on to weight. Uh, and that's just the best I could do. If you saw me this summer in the States, uh, a lot of people saw me on my uh, Table Talk uh, podcast with Dave Tate. At that time, I was somewhere between 230 and 240. Uh, and, and I was eating like crazy. So I'm sitting, you see, this morning I woke up 129 Point one kilograms. Uh, 130 is 286, so I woke up between 284 and 285 pounds this morning. Uh, that's, that's 50 pounds roughly over a few months ago. So we're going August, September, October, November, four months, I'm up about 50 pounds. Um, that's where I need to be. I've got to gain weight. I've got to get thicker. I've got to get heavier. The thing is, I've got to have the reserves. Uh, you know, people see me training like, oh man, you're really, really lean. Well, you know, the issue with me being really lean is that I'm not really trying to be. And then when I'm trying to push hard in training, I don't have any reserves left to really go. On the other hand of that, if I get sick, you know, with, with health issues, if I'm nauseous for two or three days, uh, if I have bathroom issues, um, if I get really, really stressed and just can't eat for a couple of days, 
uh, and I drop a little bit of weight, I have no weight to drop. I can't spare anything uh, if I'm in the 240, the 250, or the 260s. Uh, but if I can sit somewhere between 285 and 290, and I have a rough week, I'm still at a spot where I can come back and train. I, I have the reserves to lose a little bit and still be okay. Um, my goal is to be a consistent 130. To be able to hit 130, uh, 286, anytime I want, late December. Uh, I would like to hit 286 probably eight times in January. Uh, that's eight days getting on the scale, weigh 130 kilograms, 286 pounds. Um, I would love, I need to break 290 in January. Uh, anything beyond that would be absolute bliss as long as I'm healthy. Uh, I can tell you that last month when my body weight hit 130, 131, 131.4, somewhere around there, I could barely breathe. It was really, really hard. Uh, but I have to get to that point to reduce, and then I have to go up a little bit higher, and then I have to reduce, and then I have to go up a little bit higher, and then reduce. You can't stay up here too long, and you definitely can't reduce for too long. You've got to find that balance in between. Let your body accommodate. So that's what I'm doing. My body has got to gain weight. I have to gain weight. I have to force it to gain weight. And I'm on a really, really good run with food uh, for the last several months. So I think that's a big part of me getting back to being able to make a run at Masters World Strongest Man 2020. If I don't gain weight, there's no chance. I don't have the reserves. You can watch me training now. I'm not strong, but I'm getting a heck of a lot more reserves to be able to push exactly when I need to. So why are we all getting fat? We're not. It's just me. And then if everybody else was smart, they would follow suit. Get fat like me. Big, fat, strong, and proud. Hope that makes sense, guys. Have a good one.